Hey everyone, I'm Chuck Crosswhite. I'm Robbie Janae. And we're so excited to bring you the first episode of our new series, Robbie vs. Chuck. Today our coworkers have picked four different clips for us to Foley, and we're going to challenge each other to see who can come up with the best Foley art for each clip. And if you're unfamiliar with what Foleying is, Robbie here has actually already done a tutorial on it, which you can find here. We haven't even seen the clips yet, so we're going to review what our coworkers picked for us. Only thing left that we need is uh, some popcorn. Let's roll that beautiful Foley footage. Oh, a, a cooking video. That's never been done before. Do we, I mean, do we have a skillet? Do I have to buy a skillet now? Uh. Easy. Next one. Okay, so we have a blacksmith. Should we have an anvil forming a sword, it looks like. That mm. shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, let me just get some iron, start beating stuff. I mean, maybe, would you, like, do you think you're gonna add some sound effects for the sparks? Like, are you gonna incorporate that at all? That's for me to know. I might just get a pipe wrench and just start beating things. <laughs> and whatever sounds the best, I'm gonna use that one. You think Academy will let me go in and just start punching a punching bag? They may ask you why you have a giant, like, headset and microphone on you, like, <laughs> punching a bag. Who's got a more feminine grunt? Huh! Huh! Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Here's your freebie. <laughs> All right, so we're about to go out and record this fully. Uh, we have a couple rules for this. So uh, first off, we are gonna go out to the store and buy all the things that we need to get this fully done. Uh, most of the things will be household items that you have access to. Uh, rule number one is that we're gonna have to do everything within the studio that we have here. And rule number two is that we have to do everything ourselves. We can't bring in anybody else to help us with any sound effects or any of the Foley art. But uh, we are allowing audio manipulation and post, yeah. so that's gonna help us out a lot, so we're just gonna see how it turns out. All right, off to the store. All right, so I'm gonna add the oil, try and get these crackling sounds as a safety, and I've got a little bit of water as well, and hopefully that'll make us, get us a nice fry sound. All right, that was our water sound effect. I'm gonna go ahead and add some oil, see how that does. Maybe we can get some more popping sounds, um, something a little bit closer to the walk they're using in the clip. So, let's try it out. Fry it in here. All right, I got a little bit of sizzle at the beginning, but I'm gonna go whole hog here and just yes, please. Up next we have the blacksmith clip and what I'm going to use is a hammer, a very tiny cast iron skillet and a long wrench and what I've done there is I've set the cast iron skillet up on the wrench and I'm going to hit it with the hammer and I wanted the sound of multiple metals uh, clanging together. That's why I have the, the skillet on the wrench. And next for the open flame in the back I have this vacuum sealed piece of uh, packing plastic and I'm going to be rubbing on that to simulate the sound of the open flame. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try and simulate the sound of the sparks and we'll see if this works. This is just kind of a last minute idea. Here goes nothing. All right, see if that work. For this next clip, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the boxer and for that, I actually got a box. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try and simulate the sounds of her punching the punching bag by thumping on this box. The next thing I have is this dog leash that's made out of chain. I'm going to simulate the chain sound that's actually off screen but it's above the, the punching bag to give a little bit more ambient noise, make it seem more realistic. I'm also going to be trying to get some squeak sounds out of my sneaker. The last thing I'm probably going to try and do, hopefully I do it well, 
is make some sounds to like grunts to recreate the sounds of her working out. So let's see how it goes. Onto the chain. Female grunt sounds. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, DJ Rob here. Um, <laughs> today uh, I'm going to start off my Foley Challenge video with the blacksmith video because I think that's going to be uh, the most layered one, but uh, I have all the items right here to my left, so let's get started. Alright, so I have a bunch of various um, metal objects. I've got a, <laughs> got a pry bar, um, got a 12-inch uh, breaker bar. Um, essentially, I was just looking for any metal thing that I could find on the internet uh, that was easily accept or accessible. I mean, one of the biggest parts of getting Foley right is just kind of experimenting and uh, just banging objects together to see what's going to fit your video. It's not as bassy as I want it to be. Maybe this will get some bass to it. That's no, too light. All right, I'm gonna just try to use the steel pan. Maybe I could use that as a bass background and just layer those, so. All right, so in the background of this clip, uh, there's actually um, a fire roaring. One of the best ways to get fire roaring without actually like building a fire uh, is a few things that you can layer together. First off, we're gonna use some cellophane to uh, recreate crackling fire. All right, so I think that's gonna be good. Uh, we're gonna move on to uh, getting that, you know, fire sound effect. So uh, with fire, you know, it's kind of like blowing in the wind. Uh, so for that, I have, I've got a handy dandy uh, blowtorch. Uh, this thing is going to get that, you know, uh, fire sound effect. All right, got that. Um, I know steel wool uh, burns really slowly, and uh, I think that's gonna be a good addition to uh, this sound. Uh, so I'm gonna burn off some steel wool up close to the mic and see if that uh, plays out well for us. All right, so that's all I really need for the blacksmith stuff, so let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next one we're going to be doing is the cooking video, uh, cooking on a wok. Um, and uh, to start that, I mean, I usually use, whenever I cook, I usually can tell that an onion makes the best like sizzle flavor, uh, and it's going to be easy to move around uh, once I dice it. All right, going to turn that up to high because we want as much sizzle as possible. Let's give that a little sizzle. And we're going to be using primarily water for this because uh, I don't have any oil. Simple enough. All right, so in this video, there's two spoons uh, kind of just sorting out uh, different the beans or lentils. So what I've learned to do to get a really good sizzle on a plate is to uh, soak a washcloth in water and that on top of a cast iron skillet is going to give you that sizzle that you want. So let's get into it. The best part about using a cloth is that you can reuse it. Uh, if you, the take is bad, uh, you don't have to reset and get food out of your skillet, so uh, just a wet cloth will get that sizzle that you're looking for. So I'm gonna do about three or four takes of this. So now the next move is to slosh some onions around and kind of get it in time with uh, how this guy is cooking. So I got two spoons here, and I'm going to be uh, moving around the onions while we do this, so. All right, I think that's it for the cooking one. Uh, just uh, probably gonna add some uh, restaurant sound effects in the background. I'll just have to layer that uh, with some, you know, uh, reverb in post, uh, but I think cooking is done. Let's so on to our next one, which is a boxing bag. So I didn't want to do it in the studio because I saw Chuck buy some stuff that was uh, frankly better than mine, and I couldn't find the materials I wanted, so I decided to go to Remote Robbie. So I know we said no remote shoots, um, but I'm going to anyway, because sometimes in Foley, uh, this is a learning lesson for you all, the best thing for the sound production that you can use is the actual thing. So for this boxing video, I'm going to be using an actual boxing bag because the chains actually have tautness on the, on the top, 
and uh, if you just shake chains, they won't get the sound same effect as you know a boxing chain like boxing bag chains like rattling while it's being punched. So and also there's just kind of an airbag effect uh, that you get whenever you're punching thick cotton like this. So this is me cheating. Let's do it. <laughs> So we tried the rooftop boom, and uh, I kind of punched it off the roof. It wasn't working. So uh, we're using my brother Andrew. What's up? All right. <laughs> Actually, let's get a close up of a uh, chain rattling. Yeah. That's it. So these are our wonderful co-workers and we asked them to judge our content. So uh, here we go. You guys ready? You bet. Ready. Yeah. All right. Ready. Raise your hand for one. Raise your hand for two. Uh, half a hand. God! <laughs> He's so much better at post-mixing. <laughs> Clip number one. <sighs> Clip number two. I'm gonna go number two. Number two. Yeah, this, yeah we did We tied. So, number one. Yeah. Number two. But I like your. I like your. We hits. tied. <laughs> no, you. You win. No, the Wait. second one was a tie. We tied. Wow. Oh! Hey! We're all winners here today. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. If there's anything else you'd like to see Robbie and I square off on, please let us know in the comments. And like always, like, sub, subscribe, uh, ring that bell so you can get those notifications. And if there's anything else you want to see from us, uh, we're going to be putting out a lot more dope content like this. So adventures in filmmaking, you want to learn some new things, we're here to make it. So just let us know in the comments. And we're going to bring you our new catchphrase. Anything you going can do, I can moon, do better. Baby. I thought we agreed on going to the moon, baby. No, mine's better. <laughs>